uh-oh are we in this thing is the melanin and all yes it is hey what's up everybody it's your girl miss p it's another thursday honey you know what thursdays mean we are back for untitled foolery make sure to go ahead and like this video subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on social media at miss tp90 okay honey so yeah we're just gonna go on and get into it there's a lot that i want to discuss okay there's a lot going on in the news they passing out little naked men statues isn't that what the golden globe is what does a golden globe look like the oscars the naked man damn i was about to say it would be good if it looked like a globe it's actually a globe Oh, either way, it's a statue. Here's the thing. I'm so excited about Andra Day having her win a Golden Globe for playing Billie Holiday. I mean, the movie was fantastic. And for this to be her first time acting, honey, I said, honey, you gonna get that Oscar. Give it a little naked man statue. Just go ahead and give it to her. She the second black woman to get this? Like, do you know how many black actresses there have been? Do you know how many times they done put the Golden Globes on the television screen? Now that's a damn shame. I know Angela Bassett done done some good old acting to get an old naked man statue, but they ain't wanna give her none. Oh, now some of her best acting in my opinion, of course she did amazing and what's love got to do with it. But when she did the Jacksons in American Dream, y'all remember that scene when Joseph was cheating and he told her, go and get me some ice cream. But she was like, you so silly, Joseph. She went to go get him some butter pecan. She was on her way. Cause you remember she had a little limp. She was on her way to get it. It's something, you know, women, we got a good intuition. She said, hold up, hold up, hold up. She was, he was acting a little strange. You know, in the Jackson estate, they had phones everywhere. She picked up that phone. She was hearing all that, hi, Joseph. Pull that shit off the wall. <sighs> now that's some good ass acting right now. This brings me to some wonderful acting from Daniel Kaluuya. I think I'm saying that correctly. He won an award too. I love me some him. And he did his good old acting in Judas and the Black Messiah. And honey, that's a fine little chocolate man. Y'all know I love chocolate men. Now he is something to look at. Ah, and his little accent. Woo! I also want to give another honorable mention, even though he didn't win nothing, to Trevante Rhodes. He was so fine in that Billy Holiday movie with that pretty ass smile. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. I'd like to give him a personal award. Mm. And Chadwick Boseman, the Black Panther will forever be in our heart. But I just have to say, you better give people their roses while they right here. SWV, Coming to America 2 will be out on March the 5th. I'm really excited about that. Honestly, I thought we were gonna get this for Christmas or either New Year's or even during Black History, but it's time. I know you've gotten some boxes during this Panda Express, okay? You have a subscription. Just go ahead and click it and watch it. That easy. I'm very happy to be here. Ooh, did y'all know that Oprah? Baby girl ain't done no sit downs in a while. But she saw that Prince Harry and Meghan want to chop it up. She said, hold up, come do my hair. Y'all make a little set like we used to do. Mm -hmm. What y'all want to do? We gonna get all the smoke and the royal tea from them. You get it, royal tea? Because it's tea, but we, it's really gonna be the tea. <laughs> okay. Meghan said, Harry, we gotta pack all this shit up. We heading to California, okay? I can't do this. He was like, say less, Meghan. Let's wrap it up. Um, you know I'm getting old, child. I don't know who with who. Uh, I didn't know that Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi, I didn't know him and JT from the City Girls, okay, all together. I, I, I didn't know that, but I was looking on the shade room today and come to find out Lil Uzi Vert's ex, I think her name is Brittany, she was basically sending some screenshots to JT, but JT was basically saying, but I don't care, okay? I got your man, I'll take your man. You know, I think I'm a city girl in my head, I really do, but... <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna make it. Who am I? Who are me to judge? I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's a pair that I did not see coming. X is sending messages and things like that. You just mad that he doesn't move forward? And granted, Lil Uzi, make sure you wrap up things. That's my biggest thing. I hate when people be out here trying to juggle two people at one time. After a while, one girl gonna snitch and talk to the other girl. That's just how that's gonna be, okay? It's really hard to juggle two women, especially if you're trying to be in a relationship with both. Mm-mm. Uzi, figure it out, honey. Figure it out. All y'all out there trying to do the same thing. Y'all better figure that out. For them rebels, Missy. Is Orange Face, AKA 45, I don't even want to count him as a president. Um, Is he hinting about running again in 2024? No, mm -mm, absolutely not. That's not even news. I'm not even speaking that into existence. No. Go to bed, Joseph. Go to bed. Uh, did y'all hear about Lady Gaga's dog Walker? 
getting shot, getting popped, and the dogs got stolen, okay? Lady Gaga basically said, yo, if you see my dogs, get my dogs. I got some hundreds of thousands for you. Shit, I was even looking for the dogs. I don't even live nowhere near California. I was looking for them little dogs. Um, my biggest question is, <laughs> did she give a damn about the dog walker? Dude is okay, but imagine the money he makes. Just walking Lady Gaga dogs and picking up shit. But Gaga, this shit ain't safe no more. Who you think gonna walk your dogs now but you? This ain't safe. Walk around getting shot up over some dog. No, I didn't come to dance for y'all. I just wanted to walk these damn puppies, okay? Gaga, you're gonna have to start doing this yourself, ma'am, because this is, uh-uh. You gonna have to have liability, uh, collision, all type of insurance for this job, ma'am. It's not safe. I need... <laughs> I don't even know why this is news. Samantha Lee, who is Cry Reese, Tyrese's um, ex-wife. And granted, I think it's natural for men to be emotional and to cry. Now, granted, they'll be snotting all over the place every single day. We ain't got time for that. Everybody call him Cry Reese. I wasn't trying to call him Cry Reese, but that, that's kind of his name. But either way, she was recently asked on her YouTube channel, would she date a celebrity again or would she like to give the advice on how to date a celebrity? And she was basically like, no, don't you date no celebrity. And basically, she nailed it down to uh, the next time I get with somebody, we both got to compromise. We both got to work on this thing. So she kind of alluded to um, he wasn't trying to work on it. I was like, damn. And granted, we were not in a bed, Joseph. We don't know. Cry Reese, how you gonna act like that? She seemed like a very sweet lady. Hopefully, they have an amicable split. Uh, did they have any children together? I think they did have a baby. That's a shame. <laughs> That's another Tyrese song. I don't know if she should have just stayed. I, I have no idea. I, I don't know, honey. Mm -mm. All of this is all. It's Tyrese's catalog. He could have went through his whole catalog to fix this child. But anywho, last but not least, I don't know why this is news either. I don't know why everybody is mad over on the Instagram about Saweetie. Y'all know the rapper Saweetie. She um, dating Quavo. Is that right? She was putting a bunch of ranch on her spaghetti and everything. And then she popped back on Twitter talking about, I don't know what y'all ate growing up about. And I was like, why is this news? Why are we doing this? Granted, all of that hidden valley on that plate. That was a bit much, sweetie. I know she with Quavo and I like her little vlogs and stuff. But what does she sing? What does she rap about? Oh my God, I'm really getting old. Is this? Oh, this, I love this shit. I'm right child, I'm so old. It's that ass bitch tapping. <laughs> Woo, Jeff. I need to listen more of her music. Sweetie, keep doing your thing. I enjoy me some Sweetie. That was what I wanted to discuss this week down below in the comments. I'd love to know what has baffled you this week. Let's talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.